be using the GeoGebra website. So you go to geogebra.org and when this page loads you click Start Calculator. Now the calculator suite isn't where we want to be so when this page loads we need to switch over to GeoGebra Classic. We do that by clicking on the nine little squares in the top right hand corner of the web page and going down to GeoGebra Classic. Depending upon your connection, hopefully it shouldn't take too long to load. Now we need the spreadsheet and we don't need this graph page here on the right. So if we click on the little button in the top right hand corner, then the three dots, we can close that window. Now what we need is our data. So I'm going back to my spreadsheet and I've already highlighted, so I'll just highlight again my numbers and I copy them. There's always a shortcut for copy. Then I'm going to click back here in the top box on my spreadsheet in GeoGebra and I'm going to paste. Now I've got my numbers that I need for my histogram. I need to highlight all of those numbers. Okay, then I'm going to click this button here in the top left hand corner and I'm going to choose one variable analysis. And what pops up is my graph. Now if it doesn't look like that it could come up as a bar chart which looks like this. You can choose the different types of graphs you have here for your data. So we're going to choose histogram. What we now need to do is we need to adjust the bars because I want my bars to be five units long. So I'm going to click on the flywheel here for my options and then I'm going to choose set classes manually. And I'm going to come back here. Now I know my smallest data is 125 so I'm going to start my bar histogram at 120. I'm going to have each of my bars five units wide. Now over here I'm going to now switch and click on graph and I'm going to change my dimensions. I want my x-axis to start at 110. I want it to finish at 200 and I want the steps. I want to show every fifth number. Now no matter what you do sometimes the Y coordinates will change, sometimes they won't, so just leave those for now. And I'm going to show my grid. Now it doesn't look much at the moment, but if I turn off my options, now I can see it. Now, let's go back in and something hasn't quite worked here. So go back to graph, step. Sometimes you have to redo that one twice. I want five, six. Okay, I'm going to turn off my flywheel. Okay, so there are, and I can see all my values. Now when I'm ready, I click on this button here and choose export as picture. And what it will do then, as you can see down here, it's saved to my downloads folder as a picture, which I can now put into my report.